What's happening, people? So, um, real quick, Bethesda has fallen hard this generation by God. And it surprises everybody. It doesn't surprise me. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to explain myself because I don't want you to think I'm just riding the bandwagon of Bethesda hate. I'm not. I'm an original. Okay, here's the thing. Bethesda released Fallout 76 in Bethesda style and it sucks. What do you damn do? Everything they hit do sucks. Be, what, just because they created Skyrim? Alright, look here. Every game they have is released with bugs. Every game they have is glitchy as fuck. Everything. They've never not had a game released that didn't have any sort of fucking crashing shit ever. This generation we saw them release an update that crashed Skyrim within its first fucking week. I need you to listen to me now. Fucking, this is nothing new. Why is Bethesda falling on such hard times? I honestly don't know. But what I do know is there's more companies trying to take the crown from fucking uh, Konami because fuck Konami and it's fucking hilarious to watch. Bethesda, you deserve your downward spiral. You do. Anyone who says you don't Please do yourself a favor and just fall down some stairs because any company that shows you one product and gives you another shouldn't be making any money. In fact, I'm surprised their front door at their corporate office isn't flooded with people on a daily basis just throwing Fallout 76 at somebody in the office because... Maybe that'll work to wake them up. I don't know. But we're in 2018. We're going into 2019. Doing this shit, thinking you're all hot, basically pulling a Sony here has got to stop. Just because we liked Skyrim does not give you the right or anything to think just because it says Fallout. We're going to treat it as if it was Skyrim and all of its glitches. And Fallout 4 and all of its glitches, which I didn't care for Fallout 4. I don't even care to apologize for that. I personally don't like Fallout. So, anyway. Take this experience right here. Start thinking. I know that's hard because, for some reason... Excuse me, for some reason, every fucking... Okay. For some reason, every fucking company thinks, oh, just because I sold so many pr uh, products or units of one product, I'm untouchable. Uh, bitch, did you not pay attention to what happened to Konami? This should have been a learning experience for everybody of what not to do. Konami told all their fans to go fuck themselves in the worst of ways. They released one game that failed. Metal Gear Solid Survive has failed. It's a complete failure. I didn't buy it. I'm not going to buy it. And I had no plans to. If anyone buys it for me, I'll probably give it back to them before I break it. Because it's a big fuck you to the fans. And Bethesda, you got caught up in that. You started thinking that, oh, I'm untouchable. Because we make games that people buy even though they suck. And they're buggy and glitchy and can drive you fucking insane. Well, people aren't happy with the game. And people are for damn sure not happy that they spent $200 on a collector's edition. And you cheaped out in such a way that... Honestly, I'm surprised your doors are still open. I would, n I, I would never and I will never ever buy another Bethesda game. Ever. Due to how poorly they're treating people who bought Fallout 76. I'm never going to buy another Bethesda game. And I suggest... You don't buy another one on the day it releases. Wait a year and a half after they put in some actual fucking work. Because obviously they don't put work into it when it first comes out on day one. Obviously. So, that's my message to you if you're a Bethesda fan.